The message this week outside of Oakland Police Department headquarters was clear and deliberate. We're here saying that OPD is rotten to its core. Rocked by two separate scandals, members of the public and city officials are fast losing faith in the department. As the mayor of Oakland, I am here to run a police department, not a frat house. On Friday, Mayor Libby Schaff addressed allegations of widespread police misconduct, including a sex scandal involving the exploitation of a teenager and racist text messages sent within the Oakland PD. I want to assure the citizens of Oakland that we are hell-bent on rooting out this disgusting culture and holding those accountable, <sighs> responsible for their misdeeds. It all started last fall with the suicide of an officer. Officials say an investigation into his death uncovered disturbing allegations. Within months, an 18-year-old alleged she had sex with him, as well as a number of other officers from Oakland PD and surrounding police departments. We may have to go to the complete federal oversight of our police department. Oakland City Councilman Noel Gallo has watched the fallout. In just nine days, three police chiefs have been fired or resigned. One chief lasted only five days. Meanwhile, there are also reports that African-American officers within the OPD exchange racist text messages with each other. The content of the messages have not been made public. We not only hold people accountable for engaging in unacceptable hate speech, but also for tolerating it. The department is already on a short leash with the feds over police misconduct dating back to 2003. It's now under civilian leadership. I feel that this is an appropriate time to place civilian oversight over this police department and to send a very clear message about how serious we are of not tolerating misconduct, unethical behavior, and to root out what is clearly a toxic, macho culture. The mayor of Oakland there just disgusted with the police department. I just spoke exclusively to Celeste Guap. She is the young woman making these allegations, and she tells me by phone that this all started in February of 2015 when she was running from her pimp, she says, and an officer with the Oakland Police Department saved her, in her words. Rather than taking her to jail, they started a romance, she says, and from there, that officer introduced her to other officers and a network of cop customers was made. Now, she says something very interesting to me. She says that she didn't think that this would come out, and had that officer not committed suicide months later, none of this would have. An internal investigation was launched. She handed over her phone, and that's when all of this came crumbling down. Now, I spoke to Celeste earlier, I mentioned, and I asked her what the world needs to know about what happened. I mean, as long as people know that I didn't want this to happen, because people, are, there's people saying that I, that I wanted this to happen, like that I, I screwed all these cops over on purpose, that it was me who put it out there and and stuff. As long as people know that I didn't want this to happen. Celeste says that she's conflicted. She knows that there should be consequences, but these officers, she says, became her friends, and in part she became their confidant.